hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you all for tuning in today so today we're, i'm gonna be making a akara also known as fried bean cake so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if today is your first time here and if you're a returning subscriber you're very much welcome so this recipe is very easy and simple and with simple ingredients there is nothing much about this recipe so let's go ahead and jump right into the recipe so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already so guys the ingredient for today is just very simple for ingredient here i have my black eyed beans that i already washed and peeled them off so if you don't know how to do this um, I have a recipe that I did before that you can go back and watch you see how I peel my beans So guys, I will be using the black eye beans. You can use the brown beans or any kind of beans you have available And I will be using one scotch bonnet pepper And I will be using half large onions So like I said, this is a very simple recipe and I have one non, so this is non cube. I'm using just one. And the last but not the least, we're gonna add salt to taste. So we'll go ahead and get all the ingredients ready. So I'll go ahead and blend the beans. Just go ahead and grind that up. So I will take away the other blender and add my finely blend um, tools. I'll place that in just like that. And I'll go ahead and pour in my beans. So be, the beans is not much, so I'll be pouring everything at once. So I'll go ahead and add just a little bit of water, as you can see, just to enable the blender to move since it's beans. If it's vegetable, I don't need any water, but because of beans, so I'll be needing just a tiny bit. So I'll go ahead and cover that up and blend it up. So this is a very very simple recipe that anybody can make that is no stress that is, you can also use a bean flour you can use bean flour to make this you don't have to like use the fresh uh, beans so look at it it's very smooth so i don't know if you can see that very well on the camera but it's very very smooth right now so i'll go ahead and wash my hands off So I have my bowl. So if you have a mortar and a mortar pestle, you can use mortar and mortar pestle to do the second um, process of these beans. That will give the beans a little bit of lumps. But if you don't have that, you can use your bowl. And when you're using your bowl, you just have to use like a spoon. So I'll just go ahead and scoop that in. So once I'm done scooping that in, so if you don't have a mortar and a mortar paste, so just grab any spoon that have like a deep hole. You can just use that and go around and around. So this will make that beans to give you that texture. Yeah, that you're looking for, but you have to take a, li a little bit longer time for you to get that. But if you have a mortar and a, a mortar paste, so it makes it more easier for you to get the texture that I'm talking about. So because my mortar is very small, it's not that big, so I'm going to be doing this like twice. So once I have them in the mortar, I'll just go in a circular motion. It can go clockwise or anti-clockwise. It doesn't really matter, but as long as you keep doing that, look at that. I don't know if you guys can notice the difference from this one that I already like... Um, process I, I will call it a processing process so as you can see look at that when you look at those two the textures are pretty much clear so look at it this one is smooth as well but i don't know how to explain the texture that i'm talking about but when you do this process you really understand what i mean so i'll go ahead and add my stock cube 
it's kind of a little bit too hard for me to break that up with my hands so i just went ahead and throw that in and use my mortar and uh, just grind that up so once everything is well combined together as you can see i'll then go ahead and pour everything back together in my large bowl So guys, so once everything is um, combined together in the bowl, so it's time for me to add my chopped onions, roughly chopped onions, and uh, my pepper. So I'll be adding the one scotch bonnet pepper. I'll go ahead and chop that up and put it in. So this stuff, you can also, if you want, if you don't want to have this stuff in your, if you don't, don't want it to be noticed, you can as well add this when you're grinding your beans you can go ahead and blend them up together but i just feel like having them like a little bit of chunk in the beans so the beans was a little bit too thick so i just have to loosen that up by adding a little bit of water from my mortar so i just wash the mortar up and add some water so i have my oil been preheated already so I always add um, salt last once my oil is hot and ready to go then that's when I add my salt because when you add your salt too early so it makes the beans to get too watery. So it's tasting good right now so that means it's ready to start going into the pot into the hot oil. So I try my oil by adding a few pieces of onions because you don't want your oil to be too hot neither do you want it to be cold or warm because when it's too warm the akara will start soaking up oil and when it's too hot then the akara when you put it it starts burning right away the outside will be burnt but the inside will be very fresh and you don't want that to happen so you have to like use like medium high temperature to make your akara to fry your akara so I'll proceed in adding the rest of the akara, akara beans or akara flour that I just mixed up. I'll go ahead and keep adding all of it until my pan is filled up just like that. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. So you want to have a little bit of a room to turn them around just like I'm doing right now. So you just continue this process like turning them around from time to time like every two minutes or you know i can't give you time frame on this part but you just have to like keep eye on them and keep turning them around from time to time until they are all completely brown you see that gold brown color yes so because they don't want the heat to be too high so it's gonna cook gradually through in like right inside the the beans so they can be cooked properly so you just have to be patient with this process keep turning them around from time to time until you get that brown texture you're looking for golden brown So I'll go ahead and let them sit there for like two, two minutes. So, so I already finished. This is the last batch that I'm frying right now. So this is the first one that I already fried already. So I'll go ahead and continue with the last batch. So look at how golden brown that is looking right now. So that's what you will be aiming at, like having this golden brown color. So that guarantees that your acra is properly cooked.
all through inside because you don't want it to be fresh inside and cooked outside so that would be really bad and look at those onions all over the place on the surface of the akara so but if you don't want to see these onions in your akara all you have to do is just to blend everything up together with the beans so you wouldn't see all of this but for me personally i like to see those chunk onions and some bites of those scotch bonnet pepper you know it gives it a little bit of you know spiciness you know i don't know if you understand what i mean so guys i'll just go ahead and bring all my akara out they're all properly cooked right now and when you're frying your akara i forgot to mention make sure you're using very fresh oil do not use old oil that you have used before make sure you're using fresh oil that is odorless tasteless to fry your akara so i just want to mention that because i think i did not mention that at the beginning so guys look at my akara looking so nice and i put that on a paper towel so the paper towel can take off any can soak up any excess oil that is in that akara so you have to do this look at that look at how juicy it looks inside but very crunchy outside tastes so delicious honestly so this is like very simple recipe just it tastes so good honestly not that i made it but if you want to try it go ahead and try it akara is like something very simple that anyone can make it has just four ingredients onions um pepper salt and stock cube that's it and the beans that's all you need you don't need like any big ingredient to do this so look at inside can you see that look at that so crunchy i hope you guys can hear the crunchiness coming from this akara all right guys thank you all for watching for spending your time with me today if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider doing that go ahead and click on the subscription button and turn on the notification bell so you can see more of my cooking more of my recipe and i really appreciate your time so guys i'll see you guys on my next video so stay tuned and stay blessed and stay safe it's very important on this era of coronavirus please stay safe and i'll see you guys on my next video bye